All right, and then the next one, we've got another fighter from Dana White's Contender Series. Simon Oliveira making his UFC debut against Tony Gravely. I think it's just going to be a little bit too much too soon for Simon Oliveira in this one. He won a split decision over Jose Alde. Prior to that, though, a very considerable amount of submission victories. Uh, most of them coming by guillotine, I, I believe, and off offers this back, which is definitely worth noting. We could see Simon Oliveira submit Tony Gravely off of his back, as Tony Gravely, uh, he's got those, he's got that wrestling in his back pocket, man. He did get knocked out by Nate Maness in his last fight, which did kind of hurt me to see. I can't actually remember who I picked in that fight, Tony Gravely or Nate Maness, but he's got the win over Anthony Bocek. He's got the split decision win over Gerardo De Freitas. He lost to Brett Johns. And he's got a win over Ray Rodriguez himself. Over in Dana White's contender series. Simon Oliveira, on the other hand. Um, he's probably best known for his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Most of his wins, I believe, have come by submission. Let me just double check that. But as you can see, very considerable amount of choke wins on his uh, yeah, 11 wins by submission for Simon Oliveira. Tony Gravely, on the other hand, when he throws his punches, he throws with a decent amount of power. He uh, He's going to have the longer range in this one here. 69-inch reach compared to the about 67-inch reach for Simon Oliveira. 66.9-inch says uh, topology at the moment. But, um, yeah, 9 wins by KO, 9 by decision. I think we could see him put on a little bit of wrestling shoes. He's fighting out of American top team. Simon Oliveira fighting out of Astra top team himself, which is uh, I think the same the same camp that Brandon Moreno is fighting out of. But I'm gonna go with Gravely in this one. I know I've just been picking favorites all all night long, but um, I've got to go with Gravely. I think he's gonna get the job done. I think we're gonna see a decision or a knockout win for Tony Gravely. And the people that are picking Gravely also have that. But do not sleep on Oliveira, man. I would not be surprised if, if Oliveira wins by submission off of, off of his back, especially. Um, locks up a gear team, which he does have a lot of gear team wins. A triangle choke off of, the, off of his back on the ground as well. But I think Tony Gravely's experienced enough to kind of avoid that sort of uh, situation. And I think we're going to see him get a win um, in this fight here. I think we're, we're going to see Tony Gravely... If he doesn't keep his hands low like he did against Nate Maness and he doesn't stick his chin out, I don't think he's going to get knocked out by Simon. Simon coming off that split decision win over Jose Alde. Not really the best look coming into a fight against uh, Tony Gravely. I think Jose Alde was um, also signed off that fight. I think I know there was a fight where both fighters, the winner and the loser, were signed uh, last year. So I think we're going to see uh, Tony Gravely win the fight. But uh, Simon Oliveira coming off Dana White's contender series, split decision win, kind of puts me off the pick a little bit, to be honest, as I was pretty confident in him getting the win by submission from memory. So we're going to see what happens here. I think we're going to see a Tony Gravely victory in the bantamweight division in this one here.